Hello, everyone! Episode review time! Alright, well, yeah, this is, uh, filler. This is filler. So... <laughs> no, it's just, it wasn't really that important. By the way, if you're enjoying the video, make sure to subscribe and click bell notifications on. They basically just show off high mode, which if you don't know what high mode is, it's where the armor goes on top. And there's a high center of gravity for Belly Owl. And you know, it's it's kind of cool, right? So he shows it off and they're, they're gonna do a battle with it. Oh, also, this is only for the one shot, I think, but this is a really dumb animation error. I feel really bad for the animators that have to work on uh, Beyblade and probably have to rush through production. Uh, if you're wondering what the error is, I'm not even looking at free right now. Uh, Volt, for an example, the cheek mark is wrong and he has two V's on there when obviously he shouldn't. Uh, so yeah, um, yeah, probably, probably they should change that. <laughs> no, they can't. Well, I wish they could fix uh, these issues of animation errors. And anyways, uh, the battle starts, obviously, so it is Ranzo versus Bell. So obviously Ranzo does this little tornado thing, and here's the twist, because Cyclone is different, the gap hits a little bit differently, slams on it, and you get really nice new animation of, I think it's the same thing where he says, like, explode or whatever, and he says dynamite bomber. Oh, but this time it actually explodes, so, you know, that's, that's kind of cool, I like that. Strange. Oh, look at that. Okay, I can compare it now. Look. Before? Later on. Yeah, later. Well, I think Volt's arms are still a little bit too thin. They look really weird, but maybe I'm nitpicking there. Anyways, uh, Ranzo, uh, is going up against Dynamite Bomber, right? Again. Well, actually, okay, so basically he already loses to Zabel, right? He keeps on losing, and that's a, so they do a compilation where he keeps on losing. So this is where it's now confirmed that Cyclone is probably not going to be that good. Listen, if the anime is already making jokes on it being weak, then you gotta know it's probably no, I'm kidding. It's, they, they, there's no correlation, though. It, it's funny that Ragnarok is like just a punching bag in the anime as it is in real life. Uh, so they keep on going through it. So he just keeps on beating him again and again and again and again. So then after, uh, you know, they have a nice little less scene where they're eating and everything. So th there is the battle, then after they go to eat, uh, then after they are cleaning up, I think they're doing dishes or whatever. And next episode, uh, Ragnarok in high mode, and it goes up against Basara with Solon. And I guess he's going to challenge Bell uh, next week. So my thoughts on this episode are it is okay. Now you have to consider that 1 and 2 is together, 3 and 4 is together, and 5 and 6 is together. So while technically 52 episodes, it's really 26 in total. So it feels really bad here, uh, just waiting for next week. But I'm sure like when eventually the dub would come out, you know, uh, it's gonna feel less weird. Also, who's ready for Hasbro to cut this scene when they don't have the right dynamite system for the base? They always cut- they didn't cut it actually, you all know what, they didn't- I don't know if they cut it out for Surge, the chassis things. I do know they cut out some of the mode change stuff, so I'm- I'm, I'm waiting for the- the no high or low mode for DB for Hasbro. Uh, all joking aside, hope the stuff is good, and, um... I- I just got a message right now, so... Oh, this is, uh, interesting. Uh, stay tuned, uh, for later today. Uh, I'm- I'm told I can't say anything else, so... Oh, okay, um, th thank you for watching. I, I, I gotta, gotta sign off right away.